Paul, perhaps a tough day at the office this afternoon. Your thoughts on the game? Uh, firstly, we need to apologise to the, to the brilliant fans that have turned up today and we've gone round as many of them as we can. That, that's possibly the, the worst first half performance or worst half since I've been at the football club some five years now. Um, I think we had a real bad half at Corby a while ago when we were three and up at half time and we got done four three. But that is on par with anything we've ever put in. Um, and there's no words for it really. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of boys in that dressing room that are under huge, huge pressure to start putting in performances now. I can get over the last two defeats because I think there's reasons behind them. We, we conceded some sloppy goals and we, we weren't good enough in front of, in front of goals. Um, but today, that first half, it was inept. The, the work rate wasn't there. Um, it, you've, you've at least, when you walk across the football pitch, you've got to run around and you've got to show that you're taking two, three hundred fans away from home that, that are working and paying their hard money to come and watch you. You've at least got to show some effort and some hunger and desire. Now I'm the first to back those boys in that dressing room. When, when things are down, I'm happy to take the brunt for, for, for a lot of it or for most of it. But unfortunately, I won't take the, I won't take the brunt for that. That first half was disgraceful. Now, yes, we, some will say that we've played much better second half, we've scored two. And we did. There's no, there's no two ways about that, but damage had been done at half time. Um, it's important now that, that, that there's been some stern words in there and uh, it's crucial that the, it's, a, it's a tremendous club to be playing football for, um, the, the owner, the staff, the fans um, and, and players need to realise that, 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 that they're in a very, very lucky place to be here um, and it's crucial that if we're going to get beat, we get beat doing it in the right manner and that first half was nowhere near the manner I expect. You said the second half was a much better performance and definitely the last 15 minutes where the two goals went in. There was a lot more energy about the team, a lot more excitement, and they were passing the ball around well. Yeah, Kate's had a great chance as well with the lob to, to get a third one. So, yeah, it's back to sort of something that we expect. But listen, the damage is done at 4 0 anyway. So, you can go and be a little bit more offensive and, and have a bit of a blast at it, which we did. So, again, the, 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 the subs that came off the bench did very well the KDs, the Caters, and Simeon. So, I've got a clean slate to pick from from Tuesday. What's crucial, and I keep saying it, but it is crucial in this division, especially this new division of ours. We, we, we're going through a rough spell, but I won't go overboard with it. The, the, the same group of players that have done very, very well in the first eight or nine games for us. Yes, I think I may need to tweak some things, uh, and that will happen over the next week to ten days. But it's crucial that we, we try and get them back positive again. I try and find out or work out why we, we've lost that work ethic that was so good for us at the beginning of the season. And try and find solutions for this bit of run, uh, this bad run and this bad form. But to, to, to finish that again, like I said, it's crucial that the fans understand that that wasn't good enough and we appreciate the support they've given us today um, and we'll do our utmost to make sure those kind of performances aren't seen again. Well, it's two back-to-back -back home games against Barwell and then Berkhamsted over the weekend. So, what, what are your thoughts going into those two? We're in bad form. So, like, and like I've said to you before, this division, it, it, it doesn't matter who you play in this division, they're all good sides if you don't play well enough. So, that's first and foremost. We've got to make sure that we... Um, we get back in on Tuesday and we at least work hard uh, and that's that we they give me that with the first sort of port call for them to do um, but it's another tough test for us Barwell as Burke Hampstead will be so um, or, or, like I said I'm, I'm not sure what to expect myself at the moment I don't know which hails are going to turn up so it's crucial we, like I said to you before um, they've been left in unknown certain terms in there that that isn't good enough so hopefully we'll get a reaction and we'll get a much improved performance on Tuesday and that's what we need. Thanks Paul.